Darren and welcome back. Uh, we are now in the 15th hole. It's probably one of the best par fours on the golf course. It's a, a, a 450 yard par four that plays slightly uphill and always into a prevailing wind. The difficult part of this hole is the second shot. And if you hit a good drive, a very good drive, it will typically leave you with a mid to long iron. So this segment, I wanted to focus on how do you get a little more out of your mid irons and long irons, how do you hit those clubs a little more crisp, a little more solid. One of the most common faults that I see when people do not hit a good crisp iron shot is that they tend to lose their posture. So as they're taking their backswing, they tend to lift up, straighten up their knees, and straighten up in their body. What this will do is it'll make your arms get a little bit long and disconnected from your body. And typically you'll hit it off the toe or hit a real thin shot. So what, how can we keep our posture a little bit longer? The thought process I like to give people is to feel like they're a discus thrower. So imagine a discus thrower. When you're a discus thrower, you're kind of lowering yourself into the, into the backswing. You're, you're looking for more power. And one simple little tip that I like to have to, to get into your discus thrower position is to feel like your left knuckles drag low to the ground on the backswing. By dragging those knuckles low on the ground will promote more of yourself to stay in your posture, not losing your posture. Because the second you straighten your knees or, or stand up at your waist, you're gonna throw away a lot of power and really hit, miss hit the shot. So, Let's go ahead and hit this one and see how it works. Keep it in mind that we want to really try to keep our posture. Keeping our posture equals more power and a more crisp iron shot. So as I keep my posture, I'm going to let those left knuckles stay low to the ground. Pretending I'm a discus thrower. I'll take that shot. Another birdie chance, and uh, so remember, keep it simple again. Don't lose your posture. Try to maintain your posture throughout the whole backswing. By doing so, you're going to generate more power and hit that ball more in the center spot of the club.